Hmm, what to read, what to... Ah, oh, this one looks good. Ah, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I loved when they did that thing. Yeah, that was very clever. Okay, well, I don't have time to read right now. Let me just put this back, and uh, let me start the video. Hey, guys. It's International Book Day, so I want to show you guys some of my favorite books. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a collection, and uh, I just want to share with you guys some of my favorite books. I think it's a good idea to start at the beginning. One of my first favorite books was by Shel Silverstein, and it's called Where the Sidewalk Ends. Now, this guy also wrote for Playboy, I think, or some dirty magazine, but these short poems are incredible. My dad would read it to me every night going to bed. Uh, I have two more of his books. They're very, very good. This next book is also from my childhood, and it might be a weird childhood book, but it's the official Iron Chef book. And yeah, this is from the original uh, Japanese Iron Chef show that I watched religiously as a kid. It was one of my favorite shows. So of course, when I saw the book at the bookstore, I made my mom buy it for me, and it's been in my collection ever since. Now, a lot of people will relate to this as a favorite book, Harry Potter. If you've never read Harry Potter, there's something wrong with you, okay? Harry Potter, one of the best series to read as a kid. It, I've tried to reread it now as an adult. It doesn't have the same magic <laughs> uh, that it did before, but definitely one of my favorite series. Uh, I don't know why I grabbed this one. This, is, this one wasn't my favorite. My favorite was probably uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, or Azkaban, however you want to say it. The Dementors. Alright, now this next one isn't technically a book, it's a comic, but Archie. If you've never read Archie, you're missing out, okay? Archie's great. He's dating two chicks at the same time, Betty and Veronica. You know, Betty's the girl next door, Veronica's the rich, hot chick, I guess, even though I thought Betty was pretty hot myself. Um, he's got a friend, Jughead. Just, Archie's are great. If you ever need something to read while you poop... Archie's what you should be reaching for, bud. <laughs> All right. Who here has read 1984? I, I want to see a lot of hands up. Well, have you ever heard about the book We? Now, this book is basically 1984. A bunch of these guys had the exact same like dystopian future vision around the same time. I think it's within a decade uh, a bunch of these books came out. This one's one of my favorites. Um... My memory is foggy. I mess it. I mix it up with 1984 all the time, but I'm pretty sure uh, this one is in a weird language, kind of like a Clockwork Orange. They have their own kind of however the fuck they talk. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a must read, especially if you like 1984. This is very similar, and uh, you can kind of flex on your friends and be like, "Oh, you've you've read 1984. Well, did you read We? So there you go." What kid didn't want to go to space, am I right? Everybody wants to be an astronaut when they're a kid. Uh, that's why I have a shitload of, like, astronaut-type books. The camera keeps focusing on my face. Hi, face. Books. So, one of, the, one of the first ones I have is Riding Rockets. Now, this is from a guy who was a NASA astronaut, and he spent time on Mir, the Russian um, space station that was janky as hell. Uh, this one is basically the same book. It's about the same guy. This one is more hating on the Russians, I believe. This this riding rockets one. Off planet's pretty good. And then of course you've got my boy Chris Hadfield, the Canadian, uh, with his book all about his space travels. You got to have some space books in your collection, okay? It's like if sci-fi was real. All right, this is the closest you're gonna get. All right, so we're getting older. We're starting to read more mature content and get your mind out of the gutter. Not that kind of mature content. These next two books are very, um, th these are a good flex. All right, tell your friends. They'll be like, oh my God, this guy's this guy so deep. Um, this first book is called Out of Mind. Out of Mind. It's about, it's told from a first person perspective of someone with Alzheimer's. So the book is like, it gets weird because the dude has Alzheimer's and he's bas it's basically his thoughts being written down kind of like, um, like a flow of consciousness type thing. I've, I forget the word, but yeah, 
really weird, deep kind of book. And then this other book I got when I was kind of young, I just thought it was hot shit for getting this book. It's called Hackers and Painters. And it's about, it's not about computer hacking, it's about social hacking. All right, because as long as there's a person in a system, basically, the, the person's always the weakest link. You can program computers, have everything locked tight, but as soon as you give a, like an employee access to override stuff, you can hack the employee, all right, through social, social hacking, basically. So two more cool books. About seven years ago, I got really into working out. I was out of shape. I figured, hey, if you don't get into shape now, you're never going to. And I bought myself a book, Arnold Schwarzenegger's The Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. Now, look how thick this book is. This is the only book you're ever going to need about bodybuilding. It's got a bunch of sick pictures, um, you know, motivate you. It's got all the exercises. It's got all the diet. It's just a great book if you're interested in getting, you know, jacked and tan, dude. <laughs> now, for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to show you all my books. I still have many books that have a place in my heart that I haven't mentioned, but I think we're going to cap it off with something maybe most people don't have in their book collection, and that's manga. So I, I'm a weeb. I love anime. And when I love an anime a lot and they come out with manga, sometimes I buy it. So I've got, I've got the first Persona book. I've got Attack on Titan, um, and they're great. The only downside is, is that they're literally like the, they're literally the anime. <laughs> it's the exact same thing, just on paper. So if you've seen the anime already, it might not be that cool. And if we're gonna talk about manga, I'd be a fool to not mention Death Note, one of the best animes. If you haven't seen Death Note, it's freaking amazing. They came out with a box set of manga. Ooh, that was probably loud. That's a lot of manga. That's a lot. And it was, it was, an, it was an okay price, but I'm, I'm very happy with this. Did I read all the books? No. Why? Cause like I said earlier, it's very, very, it's, it's like frame for frame the anime. And I've seen Death Note like 10 times. So I didn't feel the need to read all of them, but I have them because sometimes you buy, sometimes you just want to collect the books. I'm sure some of you can relate with me on that. So there you have it. Those are some of my favorite books that I've collected over my lifetime that are in my collection. I love them. You should check them out if you haven't heard of some of them. So happy World Book Day. And I'm going to go kick back and read a new book that I haven't read yet called Shoe Dog. And it's all about the guy who created Nike. So my girlfriend got this for me. I'm going to go read this right now. Everybody have a happy World Book Day. Keep on reading. <laughs>